Bernard Carrick is the former commissioner of the largest police department in the entire world, the New York Police Department. Now, he says bad governance, in fact, Marxist management by New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, has turned back the clock in the city, not to the good old days, but the bad old days. Here with us tonight to break down what went wrong and how to fix it, one of my very favorite people, Commissioner Bernie Carrick. Bernie, great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. Governor. Thank you. When you first, were the first, first, yes. First, I have a message uh, from Rudy Giuliani. You all know Mayor Giuliani. He loves the governor. Well, it's mutual. Loves. It's mutual. You know, you bring him up, and, and I just want to, let's get, jump into something. What was done to him is absurd. They came busting into his apartment, and they could have simply had a subpoena if they wanted something. That was all show and theater. Why would they do something like that? Personally, I think it was criminal. Uh, you know, and he'll, he'll address it, but it's just a shame. This is somebody that was the mayor of New York City, the associate attorney general, yeah. the U.S. attorney for the district he lives in, yep. where they came into his apartment. It's just absurd. I mean, it's unnecessary. Well, let's get into police funding in New York City. When you ran that department, people marveled at how well it was run, how safe it was to walk the streets of New York City. Uh, it, it was a different place. What, Go what Governor, happened? Governor, keep in mind, in 1993, when Giuliani came into office, we averaged about 2,200 murders a year. That's more than Atlanta, Minneapolis, Baltimore, Chicago, Detroit combined. 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 Wow. Over the eight-year period Giuliani was in office, we dropped the violent crime by 65%, dropped the murder rate by, 80, by 70%, and we actually dropped the murder rate in the black community by almost 80%. Hmm. And, and he did that through aggressive policing. And here's, here's the thing that, that a lot of these mayors today and governors don't understand. For every percentage point, we reduced crime in New York City we saw increases in economic development, real estate values, tourism, and reductions in the welfare roles because there were tons of jobs in New York City. The bottom line is you have governors all over the country today and mayors that are basically creating laws that are good for the bad guys, bad for the good guys. These bail reform laws where nobody gets locked up or they let them yeah. loose. Um, you have district attorneys that are being funded by Soros that are not prosecuting the bad guys. They're victimizing the thugs. They're villainizing the cops. And then you have mayors like Bill de Blasio who really don't care about the communities and the cops and let the, let the thugs do what they want. Bernie, when, uh, when New York started to make this change, and we've seen it in other cities, Chicago, Minneapolis, Seattle, right. Portland, um, people are afraid. I mean, I talk to people who live in New York, and they are afraid. Many of them are trying to get the heck out of there. You would think that somebody would wake up and say, maybe this defunding the police is not a good idea. And I'm having to imagine that being a police officer right now in a major city is a demoralizing kind of job. These thugs out there, they know they can't get arrested. They'll be let back out. They can get away with things today that they couldn't get away with before. So they embolden that element. Um, and you see a lot more confrontations with the police and, and suspects far more today than you've seen in the past. You see the resisting arrest. You see the interfering with an arrest. You see assault on cops. You didn't see that kind of stuff yeah. 10, 15, 20 years ago. What would you do today if, if de Blasio, not that he will, but if he called you up and said, Bernie, we need you back. The city's a mess. Come back. Tell me. In the first 30 days as commissioner, what would be your plan? I want 4,000 more cops. I want the district attorney to start prosecuting the following crimes that they're not prosecuting. I want the legislators and the governor to enact, to reverse the bail reform laws that they've enacted. Um, do that and push law enforcement like Giuliani did. And I promise you, you'll see a change within three months. You know, it was amazing that people in the minority communities, in the poorest parts of New York, were the ones who actually supported a strong police force because it was their communities that it was most unsafe in. Uh, but, Governor, keep this in mind. The biggest benefactors 
the biggest benefactors of the reductions in crime and violent crime and murder in New York City, the biggest benefactors were the black community mm. because that's where the violence was the highest, was the most. Well, we went in there, you know, full force. And at the end, you had an 80% reduction in murder. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Safer place to be, largely because of your leadership. Bernie Carrick, thank you so much. Uh, former New York police commissioner. And you can keep up with Commissioner Carrick on Twitter at Bernard Carrick. Also, go to his website. And he's got a lot of best-selling books. There's a reason they're best-selling books, because they're fantastic and give a lot of insight into stuff that's going on today.